you know, if you know, there was a pulse width modular that I can call this drill. Turn the light on for a second so I can see what this transistor says. This is a MOSFET, obviously, because it's got gate, drain, and source. Looks like it just plugs in. This is a socket that plugs straight in. It's a C50 slash 0, then 0, 2, 2, 4, then gate, drain, and source. So I wonder if there's anything, um, I know there's a blocking diode in here. Under there is a um, blocking diode, so somewhere in there. This thing here just makes that um, noise to, to drive the motor. I want to see if this can, um, what other things I can drive using this sort of a uh, little pulse width modulator. I'll see what it does with a flyback. Right bit of right frequency, but see if we get any output on it. It's worth a try. Okay, see if this thing works. Okay, it works. But unfortunately, it's a bloody short. Damn it. Well, this must have got damage when I popped the motor. This is either the drill or popped to the uh, area. So this thing's damaged. I have to pull this apart. Maybe the diode in there has gotten over ramped. And shorted across. So I have to pull this apart and check the diode. That's okay. That's not hot. Um... That wasn't even connected either. Yeah, they, and that was open circuit and it still was shorted, so I'm gonna have to fig figure out if I can uh, replace the diode in there so it works again. Okay, if you want might, well, might as well make this an equipment autopsy. And this fish just fell apart there. It's a model 6-04B, 9.6 to 20 volts DC, 12 amps. And KPAX 2003, uh, I think that's the year it was made. So it's only capable of uh, 20 volt max at 12 amps, and I put bloody over 240 volt DC through it, so yeah, I've done something, some damage in there. It's like uh, gone short. Alright, let's pull the rest of it apart and see if we can look inside this block. It's probably a pop diode or something in there. Shouldn't be too hard to fix if I can get it back together, that is. Interesting what's inside one of these PWM switches, a little uh, micro, it's a little circuit, it's got an integrated circuit and then 8 pin chip. If I can get the bloody read it, a bit hard to see. Yeah, very hard to see. Get the camera lot on there. It's got CPX94, then I think it's got 824F underneath that. It's got a Xena diode, surface mount capacitor and resistor, and another little tiny surface mount capacitor. And I think that's all there is. Main contact in there, which I've overloaded. So the contacts in there, and I think that top slider somehow, which uh, would, would have went this way, I think, in that way on that little spring there and it's slid up on those little contacts there's something there to do the uh the muscle just to get the um for your pulse width modulation when you press the trigger not a little um much inside these but for what they do and there's the uh switch for forward and reverse Okay, the viewers got it back together, exactly how it came apart, seems to work quite well. Now on the bottom, get this out of the way, we get our connections, battery negative, G which goes to yellow which is gate, then B plus, positive for the battery, M2 motor, which you reverse I think here on the switch, then S goes to source on the MOSFET, then D, drain, which is a uh, blue one, which goes near and there. Then out of here, the M1 to the reverse switch. There you go. Let's see if we can, um, or oh, probably can't pull it apart, just a set of contacts in there. So there's probably nothing interesting in there. Yeah. 
nothing much to this thing really. The uh, battery tester goes on over in straight on the straight onto the battery. There you go. I wonder how this little circuit here works. Okay, viewers, here's the inside of that battery checker. Some xenodiodes, some resistors, and three LEDs. Nothing much to it. There you go. Let's put it back together, give it a test. I did plow the uh, melted contacts in there and got managed to get them apart. And let's see if it's uh, done anything. Uh, there was us reconnect this. Now it's plugged in. Yeah, it seems like a full battery. It's about 15 volts rectified. It's made for an 18 volt battery, so I was going to show it about three quarter. No, pop the breaker. And that contact in there is too far gone. It's just shorting and brought it together. Hmm. Oh, the oars, that'd be enough for now. Thanks for watching.